Blog Talk Radio. Hi, it's John Lansner of the Orange County Register. We're talking real estate again. Today we're with Zip Realty's Len Malena. How are you doing today, Len? Very good, John. How are you? Okay, Len, we're in the heart of the supposedly big spring home buying season. Can you give me a quick update on uh, how you see uh, how the housing market's uh, progressing or not? Well, I'm personally uh, very busy. We've got a, I've personally got a lot of uh, buyer activity, uh, a lot of people writing offers. Um, it's uh, kind of a tough market, a lot of short sales still out there, a lot of bank-owned properties. But a lot of good deals and uh, interest rates are certainly uh, as good as they've ever been, or at least as far as I can uh, recollect. Zip Realty obviously follows more than I know you specialize in South County. Can you give a, a bit of a taste of uh, what Zip Realty is finding about uh, Orange County conditions? Um, kind of um, what I what I just alluded to. There's um, there's still a lot of short sales out there. A lot of b- bank-owned or REO properties, uh, some traditional equity sales as well. Um, Homes seem to be selling a lot quicker now than they were six months ago even. Um, I think there's, uh, and certainly interest rates are driving a lot of the activity as well. What can you tell me first about the attitude of the sellers, and perhaps not the ones who are desperate, but just the general person who is thinking about selling? Uh, Have they uh, come to grips yet? to where uh, modern-day pricing is, different than where they may have thought it was or hoped it was, uh, whether it was six months or a year ago at the peak back in 06 and 07? I really, yeah, I do think that they really have come to grips in general uh, across the board with that. Um, You know, most tracks, most areas now have some good, um, or I don't know that I want to say good, but uh, there's, there's been a lot of sales activity whether it be closed REOs or closed short sales. So now there's uh, no guessing as to what market prices are in any particular neighborhoods. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what, what's driving the prices right now, regardless of what anybody paid for their homes two, three years ago. And what kind of buyers are you seeing? Um, are there first-timers? Are they investors? Are they people who uh, seem to sp- perceive this as a good time or just people who sort of need to own a home? Uh, personally, I'm seeing some of each, uh, probably more uh, more first-time buyers, but uh, there, there's a fair amount of investors out there. There are also a lot of other um, uh, buyers who are either uh, trying to just take advantage of the good buying conditions right now and either downsizing or moving up to a larger home just, uh, again, because of the good um, – the good market conditions for buying. Yeah, I think one of the interesting things that I've heard uh, anecdotally from some agents I speak to is sort of a little bit of the reverse of where perhaps we were six months ago. Some of them think that uh, home buyers and home shoppers are a little bit unrealistic. Many of them think that people are just, and or banks are literally giving homes away and have a somewhat misguided idea of uh, what the values at least currently may be. Are you seeing people who just think that people should be giving or banks should be giving away the properties? Well, I do see that with um, people who are new to the market. Uh, Maybe it takes us uh, one or two meetings uh, and one or two offers, you know, being written on a couple of homes before they really come to grips with what's happening out there. Um, It it certainly is a different market than it was six months ago and uh, a year ago. Again, when uh, a lot of people truly felt homes were just uh, being given away, but uh, that's far from the case now. A lot of homes are being sold for more than list price. What about, uh, obviously, one of the critical parts of any deal is the financing, and these days we hear it's tough. How tough are you finding it to find uh, buyers uh, who can actually, uh, one, qualify, and two, get all all the way to closing? Uh, Are banks uh, being reasonable or... uh, people being unreasonable, or what's that type of condition? Well, the banks are certainly uh, tougher, or they're scrutinizing everything a whole lot more than they were a couple of years ago. The the days of easy money and stated income loans are pretty much uh, history. Um, But if you do have 
reasonable credit or, or good credit and, uh, and you're able to document your income, then you, you, loans are available. It's certainly tougher than it used to be, but uh, it's probably where it um, maybe it should have always been. Yeah, God forbid people actually will have to prove how much money they make and then exactly. buy a home that they can afford. Uh, you know, what, what shocking novel concepts we've come up uh, at this part of the cycle. Exactly. Uh, uh, but you're saying that people are able to uh, get the type of money that they need to make the deals. Well, uh, you know, again, mostly it's the, uh, the loans that I'm seeing are the uh, first-time buyers or, or let me say the uh, under 500000 is. Mm -hmm. Uh, are most of what homes I'm seeing are, are selling right now, um, the, and especially the below $417,000 loan limits. Those are the uh, conforming limits that uh, Freddie and Fannie and other the big uh, mortgage buyers uh, are more likely to buy. Right. Yeah. Right. However, I did hear today there were some rate drops on <clears throat> on jumbo loans, so that uh, hopefully will help uh, spur some activity in the higher higher price ranges. Well, clearly up until recently in South County, and I know that's the area you specialize in, there wasn't a lot of product uh, in that sort of non-jumbo uh, below $417,000 financing range. Um, clearly, is it, a mar is it really to, so far been a tale of two towns where if, you, if it's a home that can be financed by conforming mortgages, there's a chance of selling and the price of your homes have pretty much sat? I think that is pretty accurate, um, it, and we are seeing a little bit of a, a shift. Um, you know, the, the higher-priced homes, for the most part, they weren't being listed if they didn't have to, uh, and they do sit on the market for, lo for a longer period of time than, uh, than the lower-priced homes. But uh, we're seeing, seeing a little bit of a change in that, in that area right now. Are there any um, particular things that you talk to either buyers or sellers that they are looking for in the home other than price these days that may be the same as it's been the last couple of years or may have changed in the past couple of years as far as features or size or uh, amenities, so to speak? Well, I guess I would say for the most part, most of the buyers I'm working with, uh, they're, they're looking for the most home they can get for the dollar, certainly as most most buyers do, uh, but they're they're probably paying a little close, a little more attention to location, um, condition of the home, and you know when we're dealing with the short sales and the REOs, there's a wide range of um, home conditions out there. There's some homes that definitely are fixers, and there's some homes that are uh, in very good condition. So. Again, the buyers have a little, sometimes they have a little more choice. However, you know, they, the homes in that below 500 price range are selling pretty quick. So I assume there is, and I know we've had some stats that show there is somewhat limited supply that uh, decisions have to be made. You can't be as picky as you were six months or a year ago. Absolutely. Yeah. One last question. I'll let you go. I ask a lot of people this on the last time around. Uh, you know, the great question everyone wants to know is: is, is this the bottom? Are we going to see a bottom this year? Do we have to wait till uh, next year? I know no one has a crystal ball, but uh, I got to ask: you have a sense uh, if the worst is behind us, or uh, you still? Well, my own bit... my my own personal opinion is yes, the worst is behind us. But of course, I you know. Don't know for sure. Uh, yeah. I, I do all I do know is I don't see home prices dropping as much as uh, currently dropping as much as they were six months a year ago. Uh, they seem to be much more stable. Interest rates I just I don't see them getting dramatically lower. Um, so I, I see a lot of conditions that do seem to support uh, a bottom. Uh, some unemployment numbers that just came out for uh, late last week. I, I think we're a little more promising than expected, so that's certainly good news, too. Well, we've been talking real estate today with Zip Realty's Len Molina. Thank you, Len, for stopping by. Thank you, John. And thank you for listening to Landsner on Real Estate. <laughs>